we're going to go through how to use billing rules in the project management and accounting module in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. So basically, everything is going to be run through the project management and accounting module. And normally, through projects, you have the ability to invoice customers through time and material projects or fixed price projects. And standard time and material, you'll accumulate your costs and then pick the transactions to invoice to the customer. And for fixed price projects, you'll essentially set up on account transactions that you will invoice to your customers. So that's the standard way to use the fixed price and time and material projects and bill through those projects. What the billing rules give you are another set of tools to create more flexibility in actually what gets billed and how you bill the end customer. Before I start, I'm just going to point out just one parameter setting that we need to have set up in order to use the billing rules outside of your standard category setup. You'll need a journal specified for billing rule fee journal, and I'll show you how that gets used as we go through the billing rules. But fee journal is used behind the scenes to post fee transactions that get used during the billing rule invoicing. This billing rule fee journal is the parameter that needs to be set. Okay, so from there, I'll start out by creating a project here. So I'll create a TNM project. I'll go through progress billings first here. Okay, so there's my project. I'll make sure it's in process so I can invoice against it. And essentially with billing rules, all of the billing happens through the project contract. So normally when you go out to your a time material project, you'd be creating your invoice proposals through the project themselves. And then from there, you'd be able to invoice your project. With billing rules, we'll start out at the project contract ID pretty exclusively with this. So on the project contract, you'll have a billing rules fast tab down here that contains any of the billing rules that you set up on your project contract. So I'm going to start out here by adding a progress billing rule. Now this first fast tab, it contains what is the contract value for this first billing rule. I'll give it $100,000. And then we need to link it to the project. So that's the project I just created. And we need to link it to a fee category type or a fee category. And I'll just choose this fee category here. The rest of the setup, it's not applicable for this billing rule in particular. I'll get to the project tab. And the payment retention and financial dimensions tab, those are standard tabs that don't necessarily apply. You can use the standard customer retention functionality with billing rules. So if you need to withhold retention from your invoices, you can actually do that through the payment retention terms. And then you can also specify the financial dimensions for your billing rules. And the project tab I'll get to for the time material billing rule, but not applicable for most other billing rules. All right, so I've got my progress billing set up here, my progress billing rule. And once that is set up, in order to maintain that billing rule and tell the system what is the progress that you've made against that billing rule, on the project contract in the process area here, you have this Manage Contract Status button. And this form pops up. And it will show you the billing rules that you have set up on your project. And based on the billing rule type, you'll have some options up here. And being that this is a progress billing rule type, I'm invoicing my billing to the invoicing 20% of it. And then there's going to be 80 left to invoice. And I'll post it against our project here. Okay, so I've got my invoice number, so that has been invoiced. So when I head back out to my project contract and I take a look at that Manage Contract Status form again, so for that progress billing rule, it's now going to keep track of the activity that just occurred. So I've invoiced $20,000 against my $100,000 contract value. And then you can continue to increase, okay, I need to invoice another 10% on top of that. So I'll input the 10%. I'll go out there and create the invoice proposal. And it's for an additional $10,000. 
and I'll go through and complete that process. Okay, so that one's been invoiced. And then again, just take a look at that managed contract status. I've now invoiced $30,000, 30% of that contract. So that's the progress billing rule. So it's a nice, simple way to manage progress billings on your projects where you don't have to go and manage on-account transactions to say, oh, I need a billing rule for X or I need an on-account transaction this week for X amount. You manage the percent complete through this update percentage button and you're able to get the invoicing out and the amounts that you need it without having to manage the on-account transactions that you normally would through a fixed price project. So very simple, easy way to accomplish progress billings in the system.